Hey, this is Tyler, Technical Evangelist for Portrait Displays. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with your newly purchased Portrait Displays C6 HDR2000 Colorimeter. First, we're going to go over how the device works, how to set it up, and then how to configure it and all the options that are available inside the CalMan calibration software. Okay, so the first thing, once you have the device, you'll see that there's this diffuser and to move that out of the way to put on your display, you pull back a little bit like this and then this swings around behind and exposes the lens. And you'll use that when you're directly on the display. And then when you put it away for storage, you'll flip this around and push in and that protects the lens for storage. Now the second thing you need to know about is there's a tripod screw here for attaching to a tripod for projector measurement. Also, there's a counterweight for when you're measuring the display. You hang this over the back of the display, and then this hangs over the front. And in order to adjust this to the right length, you need to slide the counterweight down the, down the cable. And you do that by squeezing right here. And then you slide. So that is that. Be careful when you're wrapping the cord. Do not wrap it around the device itself. The number one failure possibility on this device is the cord being damaged. So be careful with the cord when you're storing it. Once the device is plugged into your computer's USB port and the device is placed on the monitor or display you're trying to read, now you will need to connect it to CalMan software. So you go up here to the meter tab, go to find meter, and then you want to make sure this top one is checked here. That will allow you to search for the C6. Hit search. And when it starts connecting, you will see the lights on the C6 start to flash. And once it's connected, you will see the name up in the tab here. So if we click out of here, it will go away. And if we want to get back and access the settings, we will click on the tab again. The first thing I'm going to show you is what we call meter modes or EDRs. These are special offsets that tell the C6 exactly what kind of display it's measuring. You will go to the drop down here and you will see a long list of different ones for different types of monitor technologies. And our latest ones are always at the bottom of the list. So for example, if we were going to be calibrating a Dell UP27 20Q, we would select this one. If we were going to be calibrating an LG OLED, we would go up to OLED White LG Panasonic. If we were calibrating a Samsung Quantum Dot TV, we would select the appropriate one here. Now, if you're unsure of which kind of display you're calibrating or measuring, don't be afraid to reach out to our support team. They will assist you helping you determine what kind of meter mode is appropriate for your display technology. The next option we have is sync mode. By default, it goes to auto and that is mostly what you should use. If you are finding that from reading to reading, you are getting kind of a lot of variation if you do a continuous read, we recommend trying a different sync mode, whether that be on, forced on, or off, or auto. And if that doesn't help smooth out the reading to reading variability, we will go on to the next thing, which is exposure modes. By default, we set it to one sample. That means take one reading. But you can increase the samples as well, and then we do a simple average of the readings. So sometimes it's necessary to go to three samples to get smooth readings from a continuous read. But usually one sample is what you'll be using, and it works great on most displays. The next thing we're going to show you is what we call our low light handler. So for displays that have very deep blacks, so that would be stuff like plasmas, um, LCOS projectors, OLEDs, other displays that have really deep blacks, you'd probably want to enable what we call our low light handler. And then we tell it to make a different type of exposure below a certain luminance level. So by default, that luminance level trigger would be one nit or one candela per meter square. 
You can either tell it to give multiple samples below that point or a longer reading. So for example, a common setup that I recommend is below one nit, I do a five second reading. It does make the measurement time a little bit longer, but it does improve very dark patch accuracy for measurements. Another thing that your C6 HDR2000 comes with is a NIST certification and it will tell you the valid dates here. And you can view your certificate that should have came in your box with your C6. You can see a digital version by clicking here. If you prefer not to see the status lights on the side of the C6 flash, you can also uncheck that right here. So you, they will not flash with each reading. Some people prefer that, or if they're in a very dark room, they don't want it lighting up the room. One other thing to keep aware of is CalMan does not constantly pull the C6 to make sure it's still there. So if you ever have to disconnect it from the computer to reroute the cable or add an extension, you need to disconnect the device in CalMan either before or after you do that, before you try to hook it back up and take a reading. Or else CalMan will try to take a reading and it will not be connected properly. So if you do need to unplug the USB after you've already connected in CalMan, make sure you disconnect and reconnect before you proceed with your measurements or calibration process. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to our support team or visit our resource center at portrait.com. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.